went like. Hello, welcome to Mighty Brent Art. I'm Mighty Brent Holder. This is part two in sculpting the predator. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go in a lot more detail on how I do the uh, you know, lines on the face, scales, and uh, finishing the sculpt. So, uh, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and uh, let's get to it. Alright, so right here I'm just making some lines in the sculpt. I, I, I'm going to a certain depth, and... Uh, Here's the, um, the other side that I did, and I was real happy with it. I didn't have to put the, you know, lighter, you know, put the lines, lighter fluid, smooth it down, put more lines, and do a whole lot of it. You know, I was pretty happy with the process I did. So I'm trying to do the same I did on the other side, and um, just speeding through here, getting lines everywhere. Anyway, right here, um, I decided I was wanting to put a little more texture you know you see the little lines coming off the cheek um, what it is is when he opens up the mouth the predator you know and the uh, you know you know the skin folds back you know that that's the effect I was trying to do uh, uh, what's funny was I, I ended up I didn't like it I ended up taking you know the the first two that I put on there I knocked them off you know. <laughs> it looks a lot better now but um, but yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm that I'm kind of using that right there. I was using like a little rake, and I was kind of raking it, and uh, kind of going through. Now these are the brushes uh, that I use to smooth it down. A two inch brush. These are chip brushes. Then I got some scissors and cut one quarter of the way and then half the way. And I use sometimes I use all three. Sometimes I just use one uh, when I go to smoothing it down. And uh, other times I, I might use another uh, type of uh, softer brush to, to put on the uh, water fluid. Anyway, there I am. I'm just sitting there, you know, just dipping it in the water fluid, fixing to soak this thing down. You got to soak it down, and um, and then after a few minutes, it starts getting bushy, and then that's how you're able to kind of smooth it down. So here I am putting some more water fluid on. And uh, anyway, oh yeah, here um, I got two types of plastic. I got a thick plastic, and uh, then you know, of course, your kitchen soft plastic, tinfoil for skin texture. And then this right, that right there, I found that like in a little Halloween kit, makeup kit. And uh, anyway, this little brush I'm using, it's a soft nylon brush, super soft. So I won't, you know, like hot every one of the lines I just did. And, um, what I'll do is I'll bring yeah bring that plastic out right there, and then I'll start making smaller lines. You know I got deep lines. You know it's like more the lines that you do. You know you kind of want to back off and do smaller and smaller and smaller, and that that's how you get get a, a skin texture look, and uh, it looks good. Uh, it does, there's not really a process on how many times you need to do it. It's just whatever it, you know. It's whatever the effect you're going for. And uh, whatever you think looks good. So, but uh, yeah, um, tools uh, that I use, you know, uh, anything really. Um, I got a sharp like needle tool, rake tool. Um, these right here are, are small little like little tools I make to make holes. Um, and on the predator, he's got little like these little hairs coming off, and uh, it's not good to do too many of these, but just do a few. And I think I uh, finished this up. Now I start working on the eye. Uh, you can see where I've already, uh, you know, lined it out. You know, around the eye. In the picture, you know, it looks like it, you know around his eye, it's real swelled up. And this is real easy. You put some lighter fluid on it, you know, and, and it just smooths it down. And then, of course, I go back in and then I hit a few more times around the, the eye, you know, makes more lines. And But other than that, I just wanted to kind of explain the process of this, you know. This this video was probably, it, it was like a three-hour video and I had to shorten it up. <laughs> but, uh, but, of course, I got plenty more coming. 
Um, hopefully, my next little segment segment of this video, I'm gonna do it like hands on. So um, I just had to rush this part so I, I would be able to finish the video, um, so I wouldn't have to go through a, like a video three. But uh, yeah, it looks like I might have to. <laughs> So I got the, uh, you know, where the teeth go, little circle round things, inside the mouth, above the head, inside the eyes. And the forehead, I've done it like three times, but I, I still wasn't happy with it, so I left it alone. I, I, you know, I'll come back to that later. But, uh, I, you know, you see the suction cup deals. So, <laughs> um, I had to fill in all the way around, like every single suction cup deal, and <laughs> man, <laughs> It took me four hours. I sat there looking at the clock. I couldn't believe how much time had passed, you know. And me sitting here working on this thing, just putting mud around these suction cups. And it took up most of my time. But I had this really good idea of this uh, texture I wanted to put, you know, around these suction cups. And, uh, and yes, it, it turned out fantastic. Okay, so at this part, um, I'm sitting here. Um, I, I've seen a, another YouTube video where the guy put little beads of uh, clay on, on his sculpt, you know, and he beat them down with a pencil and stuff, man. And it looked it looked awesome. And I wanted to do the same thing for this sculpt. I was going to go for scales, going up to size and stuff like that. But, uh, man, I, I, I'm really happy that I went with this idea. And, uh, of course, I uh, just kind of rolled up small little balls, you know, and just... Just stuck them up on the on the forehead and uh and then i, I came back and smushed them down with like a little like see my little orangey broke off paintbrush dilly whatever you call it <laughs> holy crap that's bright sorry about that guys um so anyway i'm working up the forehead and um just smushing them down you know and you know i i, I had a hard time as far as you know the lines i, I wanted to make the forehead a little bit more separate than the, that round piece that's going around. Um, so I guess we call them the wings, you know, because I, that, I, that's what you try to do. You try to make each part, you know, different from another part. You know, that's what makes it. Yeah, that's what makes it. It gives it a great effect and it makes your sculpt look really good. So at this part, you know, I get the plastic out, and uh, this is after I wiped it down with lighter fluid and stuff, and here I am with my little needle tool, and man, I, I'm forcing them, them lines in it. I had a lot of trouble trying to keep them lines into that forehead, but uh, at the end, it turned out good. I, you know, just, you had to keep working with it, I guess. Okay, so right here is what I was telling you about um, creating them 
this effect. Now, all I'm doing is just making a thousand, thousand holes, you know, around each suction cup. You know, I'm like, I'm pressing the pencil like, da, 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 da. and it turned out great. Um, now, right here, you know, I'm just kind of adding to that, that side piece around the head, you know. And um, I guess whenever I mold it and get done with this, uh, you know, like, whatever I go with, latex, silicone, I'm still trying to decide. The, uh, there's uh, kind of like hoses that come out off the side of the head. So this part, you mainly ain't going to really see a whole lot, maybe a little bit. But, you know, each section of the sculpt, you know, like I said, you want to make different. You want it to be somewhat different and uh, this right here I just kind of I had a, a, you know more lines coming off and so you know like I did the, the cheats I, I just kind of exaggerated it a little bit yeah I'm, I'm right here I'm just moving all this out and Man, it's looking so good. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with it. And, uh, I guess the, the next thing I go into, start making the teeth. And, um, the teeth took a second, you know. I, I, I should have let them alone because, you know, when I do the mold and stuff, I, you know, I gotta take, I gotta do the teeth by themselves. So, but I said, why not? Let's make the teeth. And, uh, so, um, when I make teeth, you know, you gotta make sure they're, they're not like round they gotta be like hexagons you know and then start shaving them down and uh man after you do that and you shave them down to a point and they they turn out great uh you know you just sit there and just roll a circle out you know and then shave it down i mean it don't look it, it you know it looks like a plastic tooth or something but if you make it like cut it into a hexagon and then shave it down you know and then put your lines and all that through it it looks pretty good There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teeth all together in the front. <laughs> the four middle teeth uh, that were, you know, inside the mouth, I did like way back. But uh, um, the, my, my, I guess the most important thing is make sure that they look. I wanted to make them look rough, like tusk or something, you know. You, you know, like imagine them eating human flesh all day or something, you know. Their teeth are rough. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this was the last part of the, of the sculpt, you know, and, uh, man, it, it just, it turned out great. It took forever and took a lot of rigor work, but I'm, I'm glad I did it. Um, I, the first time I ever wanted to actually sculpt the Predator, I, I think I was like 16. <laughs> Okay, looks like I'm at the end of this project. Uh, I, I got the teeth done and stuck them on and everything, and, and I, I'm super happy with everything. Everything turned out real good. Um, definitely, uh, definitely gonna be doing this again. I don't know when. I, I got a lot of projects I gotta catch up on. But uh, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, God bless.